Look alive. Whoops, did not fix my camera. That's okay. As everyone can see, it is just me, your boy AK. It is episode 120, April 7th, 2024. And let us be the first to wish you and yours a happy national no housework day. So I know this is at 9 30 p.m. at night, but you should not have done housework today. Uh, that's not up to me, not up to any of us, but just we just follow the calendar. It says no housework. So hopefully you didn't do any housework. Hopefully you either watched the women's championship or the electrifying golf. Hockey's heating up. You had NBA. I mean, you had all kinds of stuff you could have watched instead of doing housework. For me, uh, your boy's back. And what I mean by that is I did not do housework because I'm not entirely sure if yard work counts for housework. So that's up for debate. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But what I will say is I am back because I went and bought an aerator. Some people say aerator, but I don't know. That sounds like a sunglasses uh, brand. Um, but went and bought an aerator from Lowe's because I'm trying to get the seed or the grass in my front yard to pop a little more. We live down on the uh, eastern part of North Carolina. So, therefore, the soil is a little more sandy. And so the grass is not usually as plush. So I'm trying to, I made the decision this weekend that I'm going to be uh, trying to, to get my lawn back. I don't know if it's like a switch that hits once you reach a certain age. I'm not entirely sure. What I do know is I'm tired of looking at bald spots on the yard. Now, we have had a lot of housework done, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, we had to have our septic replaced. Another house going up close to us so we could make excuses if we wanted to make excuses but i will not so um also national no housework day also shout out to our sister um new addition to the family so i'm an uncle again congratulations to me congratulations to her i will continue to uh keep the title as funkel as tex my brother tries to constantly wrestle that from my fingertips uh, and my grasp which he has failed to do so miserably because what he fails to realize is he had the first kid in our family which made me the highest proceed uh proceeding wow absolute flurry of text messages from my family right now um <laughs> regarding the new addition <laughs> so but tex thinks he's the funkle which he, in fact he is not because I was an uncle way before him, and that gives me uh, senior senior uncle duties. So he had kids first, but he didn't know how to be an uncle. So technically, I am the founder of the Funkel. I do have a younger brother, but as we all know, uh, dating back the to medieval times, it always falls to the next in line of siblings. So therefore, I am the Funkel. He can say whatever he wants to, but I will I will never surrender. I will never acquiesce. It is also National Beer Day. So we had a choice. We usually have a choice. We can either do National House, No Housework Day, or we could do National Beer Day. There's always a list of, of uh, lots of things. Um, I currently have WrestleMania going, too. Um, so almost forgot about that, but going to be a pretty electric electric finisher bailey just won if you're if you're following along do love wrestling especially since they brought the rock back it's exactly what they needed i mean these personalities they got going on now it's an absolute it's it's nonsense as far as i'm concerned um so but yes uh again i don't tex is in, in backstage i'm not exactly sure where he's at it's probably a lot of commotion going on with the family right now so uh, Butch P should be here. Javi is, I think he's working the Masters, at least for the next few days. I'm not exactly sure. So there you go. Claude is here. Every day is National Beer Day. Let me tell you what, Claude, we, yes, that's agreed. Every day is National National Beer Day. That's a great, that's that's just phenomenal. We have, at some point in our lives, 
shared a few national beer days, my friend. <laughs> Great memories up there in Boone, dude. I'll tell you what. Um, okay, so lawn mode already went over that. I had to build that aerator, aerator, which not too bad. Had my son help me. That was awesome. Um, we are the Millie Goats. We are trying to win the Millie. Uh, this week, like the players, uh, was kind of a, we're fighting to get in the melee, maybe not totally focused on the Valero, even though that ending was spectacular, uh, quite honestly, um, got to catch the end of that while I was not doing housework day. Um, so that was spectacular. Um, but we are trying to win the melee and this week, ladies and gentlemen, this week, uh, it's Masters Week. I mean, let us be the first show to welcome you in to one of the most iconic weeks in sports. One of the most, sh shout out Golix for stealing our stuff. One of the most iconic weeks in sports, the azaleas, the grass that's always green, the endless amounts of Facebook and Twitter posts you're going to see about, hey, here's the master's menu. Uh, what are you buying? You can only, you only brought 20 bucks. You're going to get about 400 of those 400 bazillion of those. Everybody's going to be arguing about that. Not on this show. We're here to try to win a milli. And I'm telling you right now, folks, I George Kittles at WrestleMania. There you go. Um, uh, I'm telling you right now going in big time for the masters folks. I have, I have been slowly accruing quite a bank account on DraftKings DFS um, over this golf season. It's been a good year, and I plan to go all in for said Masters. And I'm talking not 150 entries, but quite a few given the recent play. So we want to shout out and thank all the golfers for playing really hard and us believing in them when maybe some others didn't. And also, one of the things... Um, that's really going on is the whole live PGA, you know, uh, debacle right now. Um, and I was thinking about this cause all the live golfers are like, Oh, they should, uh, you know, we really need to have a better entryway into the, uh, into the majors. And it's like, okay, now I'm, I, I'm not, I'm indifferent on live. I mean, I don't, I don't know what exactly who's running it, what's going on there. But I'll tell you this, those dudes left the PGA knowing that they weren't going to get to play in the majors and knowing that they were not going to get golf or uh, golf ranking points. And so now that they've left and they've taken all the money, they want to go, oh, boo-hoo, this and that. I mean, I don't know. You knew what you were getting into. And now you're – It's I, I started thinking, I'm like, is this like an NFL – uh, UFL or CFL, like, hey, the UFL or the CFL suddenly had a humongous financial backer. And then the UFL or CFL went to like Mahomes and was like, hey, we'll give you $2 billion to play for the UFL. And then Mahomes takes it, goes to the UFL or the CFL, and then turns around and says, you know what I really want is to be able to play for a Super Bowl. It's a shame that we can't play for a Super Bowl. Or actually, be more like Kermit. Hey, you know what I want? It's a. I really like to get out there with the boys and uh, play play for a Super Bowl. It's like, well, you know, there was the NFL that has the Super Bowl that you left because you wanted the money, and no one's denying that. You can go get your money, but then you can't complain that you don't get to play for a Super Bowl. So that's how I took it. That's that's that is my take. Nobody probably cares, but that's what I think. Uh, anyways, Masters Week. I mean, we have Azalea's bushes in our house or not in our house, but outside of our house. And they started blooming like last week. And I just, I would go to my wife and I'd be like, Hey, take a look over there. You know what that means? And she goes, no. And I said, it doesn't matter. It's master's week. The azaleas mean that it's master's week. And somehow they continue to bloom them at the exact appropriate time for the masters. It's incredible. I don't know what the weather looks like. If anybody's listening or watching, uh, shoot me, shoot me the weather for the masters uh, update us, put it in the comments. Tex is here. There he is. Tex among all the commotion. SoCon hat. SoCon hat. 
can't hear me. Great. Are Go you there? You good? Nope. Can't hear you. Can't hear me? Uh-oh. Can anybody hear me? Oh, yeah. Claude can hear me. I know that. Look at, look at this. Claude, Claude kind of agrees here. we got people coming in. That if you're listening to the podcast on Monday morning, we would, we do live streams uh, while we're recording this, and then we can have people chat uh, during the show. So if you hear a shout-out names of Buku and Bear the Machine Gun, uh, that sort of thing, uh, Claude, Trey, that means the people um, the people are uh, chatting with us during the show. So, oh, yeah, Claude, Herschel Walker played in the USFL. That's what I'm saying, Claude. I mean, I like, dude. You like that's exactly what I would call live in PGA is like you took the money, that's fine, but then you knew you couldn't play in the majors. So, and then Trey, Trey chiming in saying rain Thursday, nice every other day. <laughs> okay, okay, big rain, big rain Thursday, I think. Big rain, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Texas here. Commotion. I told everybody there's absolute pandemonium going on in our group chat family wise. Uh, yes. Did not divulge too much other than there was a new addition and that I am the true Funkle. I went on about a five minute. Mm, no, why no. I'm the, yes. It's, it's not true. Yes. It's mm. not true. It's not true. Mm. I was a, I've been an uncle longer than you have. That's it's an true. undeniable fact. Nope. Nope. It's also not true. Only on one side of the family have you been an uncle longer than I have. I Only mean, on one how, side of the family. That's how it works, though. No. In our family, I am the Funkel. You're not, though. Yeah. I'm just so. <laughs> just I'm just true. saying. Uh, uh, I think J Vi. Oh, 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 there's a toll in the hallway now, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oop, oop, oop. Uh, oop. J Vi, I think, is it's listening. What's the password? From our, what's the, <laughs> PGA Tour doesn't run their majors, though. Their argument is that majors should be the best players, and they aren't debate. Mm. Well, I mean, but those majors do have agreements with the PGA. So I don't know if it's a if so facto, I'm your boss. So, yeah, donde esta la biblioteca, J. Vi. So how about you stick that in your pipe? Yeah. We're not talking to ourselves, folks. J. Vi is probably on our Millie Goats channel. Uh, Just Buku's listening. here. J. Vi also confirms rain Thursday, beautiful rest of the weekend. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Will from Game On is here. One of the, if not the top show sports wise on Rumble, the Game On Sports Morning Espresso Shot. Him and Cricket, one of my favorite shows. Absolutely electric chat. Great, great chat. Um, so if you're on Rumble or if you're not on Rumble, go check those dudes out. Will is a, he is, he is, he is a funny dude, man. <laughs> He's got some sort of bet ladder going. Ladder bet, uh, that's incredible. He's just racking up. Um, also, I have a 15 leg parlay currently cooking on FanDuel mm. for the for the NBA. Nice. Like I always say, Tex NBA, you're definitely going to want to do parlays there because nobody plays defense. So, nope. I don't. Oh, Masters week. Look at Buku, Tex. Look at Buku. He's all in. Buku that's says he's got his Tiger plus to win ten thousand. Plus mm. ten thousand. I might put a dollar on that. You might, might have to. I might Buku. have to. Kraken fan, by the way. Mm. Oh no! Everybody's on the hype train. Trey. Rumor has it Tiger shot shot a thirty-one <laughs> on the front. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Somebody cue the gift for the guy getting his swagger back. <laughs> somebody. Oh! oh somebody, the, the Vince McMahon. No. <laughs> oh! Tiger's oh. playing. He shot a 31 on the front nine at practice. 31. <laughs> Woo. He aced and hold the pro am. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Tiger 31 in practice. We're talking about practice. Cue the AI gif. Cue all the gifts. Um, okay. If you are listening now, you can't listen to the rest of the show. That's okay. Thanks for tuning in for a little bit. Go check out our podcast. It'll be out tomorrow morning on every platform. Uh, Apple, Spotify, iHeart. Amazon. Um, oh gosh, we're about to get a debate here in the in the chat. Now Claude says Scheffler. Give us a you know what we need? Scheffler, Tiger Woods, final round. Oh my gosh. You want to talk about Vince McMahon gif. <laughs> That's 
You're such a. Oh my gosh, I'm getting roasted every which way on the phone, in the whatever. <laughs> All right, let's let's let's, let's move started. on. Stop. I'm getting I'm getting roasted. Anyways, national. Uh, so we got Body and McCarthy that showdown. We'll get to that national championship set. We got some notes from that. The hockey playoffs, dude. Back from the depths. I'm not going to ruin a salute your sports, but back from the depths, ladies and gentlemen. Back from. I'm also watching WrestleMania text, by the way. Oh yeah, I've got it on my phone is right it, now. Is it Peacock. on Peacock? Yeah, oh, I'll put it on the background. Are you going to put it on the screen? There you go. Put it on the screen. Oh no, J by faults. Tiger walked the course today, just chipped and putt. Oh no, he shot a 31 chipping and putting. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, Trey and Dave, I'm about to go at it. Let's let's get it. Let's get spicy. Uh, national, uh, but yeah, hockey off. So we got all that coming up. National no housework day. You don't have to overlook the obvious necessary sanitary needs. We can leave a few dishes in the sink for the day. That's what all. That's what. Uh, that's what no. Uh, national no housework day is. I just put lawn season. I've committed text. I bought an aerator. I built it, hooked it up to the lawnmower. Felt good to get back on the lawnmower. Nothing like cranking oh, yeah. the lawnmower up, smelling the fumes. Oh, you so, so you, you bought a zero turn? No, dude, I didn't buy a zero. Shout out, uh, how dare you to Edge, also a uh, friend of the show, been on the show, known Clemson fan for the last five years. Um, football, that is. Uh, known, known Clemson bandwagon fan. Yeah. Started in 2016. We've, I mean, we've known him for. Yeah, what? For, since 2012. Like 20, I was yeah. going to say no, almost. No, no. no, 2010. 15, 20, 15, 16 years. Yeah. Didn't yeah. even know he was a Clemson fan until until like 2015. Yeah. Didn't yeah. even know. He's he's one of the guys that pulled at NC State this week. Yeah. Where I haven't seen. Ever started pulling out jerseys out of the woodwork. Yeah. And they're playing in the national championship. He's like, dude, you got we got to watch the game. Giving you the knife hand. They're playing in the natty. We gotta be there. Gotta watch the game. So yeah, he's he's one of those ones where you're driving by their house for like two years, and then all of a sudden, whenever they're in the natty, boom, Clemson flag pops up. Much like your uh, Texas got the old the old style App State SoCon hat on. By the way, if you can't, yeah. if you're listening, did you steal that from Flax? He left it at my house. Okay, I, I, I knew that was I, I knew I that wasn't yours. You, his head doesn't fit in anymore. <laughs> so. Your wife guilty of the NC State pulling the uh, pulling the old oh, yeah. threads out of the oh yeah out of the out of all the drawers she was digging digging deep had to had to remind her hey you had this this coat in your closet and you haven't worn it since we've been married and mm. uh, and she's like oh yeah I like that jacket and what did they do they lost yeah it's okay she it was put- awesome though you she's- you knew look you knew that the it was it was it had to be a big a big man battle. And while Burns is America's big man, Edie is a monster out there. Yeah, he's just a big body. I don't. I watch him and I'm like, is he good? I know he's gotten better, but is he good? I don't or is think he he's just bigger. I watched some of the UConn game, and I don't think that he moves as well as the dude from UConn. I don't remember that dude's name. Klingon. Yeah, but that dude. You should like move. that guy. Isn't that a Star Trek thing? Klingon. Yeah, Klingon. Yeah, I think it's it's clinging. Get those bat, get those bat list. Mm. Ooh. Bat oh, yeah, Buku. What's up, Buku? She got 18 in today. Shot a 39 mm. on the front, fell apart on the back, came with a smooth 47. 86, golf C. Okay, mm. that's not bad for April. I bet you if Buku, we play with Buku, he'd be like, I shot an 86 yesterday, sitting at about a 95. Oh, is Buku one of those guys who's like, <laughs> I played by myself, shot, shot a... Shot an 85, and then you get out there with him, and he's ripping. Get, he's get ripping himself the other wedge every now and again. <laughs> Trey says false news. Oh, j you got fact checks. Okay. The PGA Stop Tour reading all the comments. Stop reading all, the comments. <laughs> all right. Uh, salute your sports. Dad joke. Don't have one today. Sorry. Uh, DFS, Seggy, guys, G-U-Y-S. I spelled it right that time. Hang the banners. Other relevant sports news. Inner Squad Dad King's Jamboree results. You can see it on the ticker down there. That is us. Um, 
our contest within ourselves. So to see who's the best out of us, which I don't know if that says anything, but just gives us bragging rights. J. Bot is a football champion, and he's also leading golf. But I got him in NASCAR, so I'm the total leader. So, oh, snuck one in there, Claude. Eighty nine. There you go. Yeah. That's good for fourteen yeah. holes, Claude. Nice job. <laughs> okay, got it. All right, uh, what are we doing here? I forgot. We got to salute your sports. That's what we're gonna do. Salute your sports, everybody. Shh. Bingo, salute your sports. We ingest a weekend or week full of sports, a couple of days, whatever, and then we give our hot takes. Um, I kind of want to do the salute your sports first and then go over the final four because I just wrote down like three notes from the final four. So do you want to do your salute your sports first? Yeah, let me do my salute my sports. My salute my sports goes out to my lifelong team, the Pittsburgh Penguins. They are back in the playoff hunt and are looking to clinch in the next few games, hopefully, one of the last or the last available wild card spot. So we're going to see how it is that they fare because they are two points, as of right now, two points behind, which is one, one clean win, the New York Islanders, and one point behind the Detroit Red Red Wings. So they play the Islanders for the last game of the year, which will likely be for that spot. And uh, I'm so happy that I might be back in the playoffs this year. Can I, can Mm -hmm. I give a, how dare you to the Penguins? Not necessarily the Penguins. I will admit the the lightning game was electric. that, That was awesome. Mm-hmm. That was it. Was like the CEO staff said. He said it was like the old, you know, the middle oh <clears throat> six oh seven Penguins with Crosby mm-hmm. and Malkin. Crosby by lying the around out there. Oh my! Dude, he's, he's a man on a mission right now. He's a man on a mission. He literally he's been like that all season though. All he's he's had his best season in like the last three years. This year, he's playing like his head is on fire, and it's awesome. It's it he, sucks that they have not been great as a team, but due to goaltending and Bad defense, but in a horrible power play. The power play has been like, oh, it's bad, oh, bad. I don't even know what to say. It's just they they should put me out there. Put me out there on put the us blue out line for the power play. Yeah, but anyways, go ahead, go ahead. I cut you. Off. I want to. How dare you to the Penguins fans for quitting? There was quitting nobody one. in that arena halfway through. Oh yeah, it was four to one. They were four to nothing. And everybody was like, all right, well, this is over. But they, in classic Penguins fashion this year, have blown, have given up so many three and four goal leads and blown it. I don't know why anybody left. I, I agree with you. Why would anybody leave knowing the history? They left. They, they mailed it in, dude. I mean, they mailed it in. So. Paul Heyman. <laughs> Paul Heyman. But I just want to how dare you to them. And now they're all back like, yeah, we're coming back. But And Nadelkovich, is he the guy going forward? Have they given up on Jari? Uh, me, me personally, I think they should stick with him because Jari is – they should have got rid of Jari whenever they whenever they had the chance instead of re-signing him to $5 million a year. Now What's the Justin Bieber to... song? You don't have to say that you're Jari. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you think Nadelkovich? I'd rather play with him. I think I think they play better in front of him. I think so. Okay. All right. Oh, well, you don't mess with a goalie going into the playoffs. That's no. what got Boston screwed last. I do have this. We'll pull up the standings late later, and we'll really go into it. We do have a rumble rant from Game On. Tell me who to put a hundred dollars. This doesn't show up in the comments, but he, he he's rumble rant for a hundred bucks. He's looking for, he says, who to put $100 on to win the Masters. I don't want great value or conservative bet. I want the actual winner. Matsuyama. Dude, around the greens, Matsuyama mm-hmm. is a... He also, he also won a Riviera. Comparable course. Comparable and he played course. well here. Mm-hmm. He played well here at the Valero. Matsuyama mm-hmm. would not... And he won it, what, three years ago? Yeah. When did he win it? He won it. He won it doesn't a matter. years ago. He won it, though. 
So Matsuyama actually is not a bad. I mean, how do you not put money on? Like he's 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 in my lineups. Yeah, I mean, Matsuyama has won it before. He has been battling some health issues, but he around the green is where. And that's why people like Spieth for the Masters. It's just Spieth's driver is all over the place. So I, I've seen a lot of people like Xander, um, but Matsuyama is a very. I don't know if he'll be trendy or not, but he's actually playing really good golf. Um, for me, I don't know. Who's a guy? I mean, obviously, Scotty. I always like to play Scotty. But around the greens right now, who's a sneaky pick? I haven't really dove into the dove into the metrics yet, but kind of want to do it now. But, but yeah, Matsuyama's a good one. Um, I, some of those live guys, I don't know. I don't know if I if I put money on or not, but I wouldn't put it on Rory for sure. I wouldn't put it on JT. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's always he's been he's had a questionable tag, which is funny in golf. So, um, ooh, what do you think? What do you think, Tex? Bills mm-hmm. Bills fans greater than Penguins fans. We've already talked about it. Bills Mafia peaked in twenty twenty one. The window is closed for the Bills. <laughs> close it close it shut mm-hmm. okay i'm gonna look they don't have digs anymore it. they don't have game davis it's facts here from will live player never won the match well not currently as a live player um but yes Ooh, brooks Capkin, j by chiming in from the from the rooftop here um i'm just i'm gonna pick i want to look Joaquin Neiman's going to be hot. Hideki's going to be, yes. Um, one that would be somebody who's playing pretty, pretty good golf. See, you can't pick somebody like Harmon. Um, man, we're getting into Masters talk. We are we. <laughs> um, Fleetwood, Harmon, these guys who don't drive the ball a lot. This course is set up. Like, if you want to put some money on, like, a dude who's just way down there, Corey Connors, because he can hit it a mile, is a good one. <laughs> <Why would you? laughs> what do you mean? Okay. All right, go for it. What do you mean? Uh, Arnold Palmer, 18th. The players, 13th. I mean, he's he could play in these big-time tournaments. He's pretty long. Uh, Russell Henley is playing really well. He didn't have a good. He didn't have a very good tournament at the players. I played but. Connors in this past tournament. Yeah, Connors. I like Connors. Um, I'm just rolling through some of these guys. The other one I saw that I would put that that's I would golf. that stuck out. Shane Lowry. <laughs> this is a great exchange. Buku thoughts on DJ J by DJ doesn't care anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, I think Shane Lowry or Corey Connors could be interesting. But Matsuyama is probably the best. That's a pretty good pick there. Andy wears Sunday yellow, just like Tiger wore Sunday red. So I'm just we're just spitballing here. We're gonna get into that. We got Wednesday night. We're gonna we're gonna dive more into that. But since you get the rumble rant, I mean Wyndham Clark is playing really good golf. I could see him winning it. So up there at the top, I would say Wyndham or Matsuyama for sure. Those would be those would be some hot picks. My salute your sports. Dan Hurley. I want to salute to Dan Hurley. Um, simply because he's hanging on, dude. He's fighting two battles. He's trying to win the natty. And on the other hand, I think he wants to be bald but he just can't commit to being bald yet because mm-hmm. he's got like really light hair that he keeps shaved very close. So you can't really tell if he's got hair until you zoom in on him. And so I'm saying, is he afraid to make the commitment to being bald? What do you think? Like just straight up razor blade to the, to the dome. I think he's I think he's fighting two battles. 
And I think he just needs to you think he's going to shave it and just go full on Mr. Clean. Boom. Right there. After they win the natty. Maybe he's got a bet with his players. I bet he's got a bet with his players. So I just want to salute to him for knowing that his time is near um, and still trying to keep everything going. So you got to show some respect for that. Uh, all right. We got 19 people watching on. We're the third third sports uh, show right now on Rumble. Thank you, everybody on Rumble. Uh, behind all the WrestleMania ones, <laughs> which we are watching WrestleMania, kind of. All right, yep. uh, Tex. Uh, the final four. I just wanted to bring up one screen that really sums how we look at the final four. Here's a here's a few notes. The one the one seed that loses to the 16 seed makes it to the national championship the following year every time. So here's what I think, Tex. I think if you're a one seed next year, you go to your board members and your athletic director, and you say, "Hey." Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to lose to this 16 seed. And then we're going to be a one seed next year. And then we're going to win the Natty. Because right now, if Purdue wins, that'll be twice the team that lost to a 16 seed the following year wins the Natty. So you're selling your soul pretty much, losing to a 16, but then automatically basically getting to go to the Natty the next year. Thoughts? I don't know. As a coach, you're a coach. Put, put the... <laughs> They took, the t- they took the table out, and then they put the table away. I'm just watching, watching how hilarious that is <laughs> on WrestleMania. Where are the Dudley okay. boys? Get the table. <laughs> they took the table out. The dude got drop kicked, and they put the table away. It was no, he wasn't ready for the tables. <laughs> it was so the funny. table is not available right now. <laughs> all right, all right. What, what am I getting thoughts on? Uh, being a one seed, losing to a six seed, and then going to the natty. So just basically it's mailing in an entire year to get to the oh, natty. No, I don't think you should do that. Soul stone type too, deal. Too too much too much upheaval. Also you gotta, you got you gotta have especially especially with how the 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 transfer portal's gotten, you gotta you gotta have you gotta have the running success. Well, we did talk about you need play. you need seniors. So yep. we're we've we're we're about we're about to cross reference here, seniors and mascots. Um go for it. Go ahead and go ahead and get into it. Okay. And also there's two more things. Ford is not a sponsor of the final four, but the okay. arena in Arizona is sponsored by Ford. Mm-hmm. So they had to go around and put duct tape over every single cup holder with a Ford logo on it. <laughs> 70,000 pieces of duct tape. And this is another thing I saw. Edie can't get NIL deals because he's on a visa because he's from Canada. <laughs> So we can't make any money on NIL. Being the two-time player of the year. Hmm. How bad does that suck? It sucks. Thank you. Thank you for that. (laughs) Get into the mascots. I know. Okay. Here we go. Mascots. We forgot to do it last show. The final four out of 68. Had two dogs, started with 12, which was the most. One human, that was Purdue. Uh, one unique, which was the elephant from Alabama. So we had the wolf pack, the huskies. Those were the two dogs. Purdue, which had a human, I can't remember what his name is. And then the elephant was a unique. So there were zero cats, zero birds. Uh, all teams west of the Mississippi, gone by the Elite Eight. So, that goes to show you that football and basketball are both southeast, right? Is the southeast and baseball, right? Mm -hmm. Who won the Natty in baseball last year? I don't remember. LSU? Yeah, it was LSU. Yep, which both southeast schools. So, at what point are we just going to say, is that why the S, all the the Pac-12 and all those teams are trying to get to the SEC and be guilty by association? Are they trying to get association? Oh, there you go. So, anyways, Bulldogs out by the Sweet 16, Elite Eight. At least one of each mascot, dog, cat, bird, human, unique, made the Elite Eight. So, 
remember, senior teams, and you're going to want one of each mascot for next year in your brackets. Just just bookmark this for later. Go to our Twitter page, bookmark it. Uh, search mascots on our profile. Okay. That's enough. That's enough of that. Patriots here. There we go. What's up, dude? He's a Cowboys fan, by the way. Let's go, oh, boys. Jay. I got the boys. Jay Vi. And it's in your face here, Tex. No team west of the Texas has won since 1997. Yeah, west of Texas. Texas is the stopping point. Yep. All right. We got to get going. Stop talking so much. All right, shh, let's get into golf. Okay, fantasy DFS segment. We got our five words or less headlines. Uh, We're going to get right into those. The guys are percolating. We've kind of leveled off about three or five each week. Not for this week, though, the Masters. So we're 25 and 35, 71% on the year, and our top 40 every week thus far has sucked and been dead by cut day. So we need a little sweat this week. We're going to have to pull out of our – get into our bags, so to speak, as all the young kids say. Um, All right. uh, Why don't you summarize – I'll go first. I'll summarize my golf DFS weekend. I also cashed in NASCAR because I'm an absolute freak show on the track. Shout out Eric from Smoke the Spread who rattled off a bunch of stats about a bunch of dudes. But Eric will get roasted here in a second. Here's mine. Summarizing golf DFS. No habla de inglés. And that's Mm. for Harry English. Because he could not read the greens. They were clearly in Spanish. Because he went five over on the last four holes on cut day to miss the cut. <laughs> so no habla de English. So that's fine. Text. What's yours? Spieth is on one. Oh my gosh, dude. What a, that guy. Yep. Unbelievable. Had, had an ace. Two aces. Two aces. No, he only had one. Oh, okay. I was just pointing out that he had one. Oh. Okay. He had an ace. He, had, he had a great he top finished. Uh, I believe he was top ten finish. Maybe mm. tied for tenth. Yeah, I, minus six. Wait. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, he was top ten then. Okay, Spieth was he was in the notes from the tournament too. Um, mm. <clears throat> so, uh, all right, the best and worst from the Valero. We, the five guys that we gave you, again, three of five to make the cut. This week, we're going to go five for five. We had myself. Hand up. I gave Fowler. Idiot. And he was bad. Uh, I gave all the stats. All the stats were bad. Hand up. I wanted to believe that he was just going to go off this week. And he, 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 is who, he is who we thought he was. Yeah, he's his numbers say who we thought he was, which is why we were he, laughing hysterically he, in your face <laughs> whenever you were reading off how terrible he was playing. And I said, I'm not going to look at any of that, but he is he is who he believe. thought he was, and we didn't let him off the hook. No, he was hooking the ball left and right off the tee, is mm-hmm. what he was doing. Yep. Uh, Lashley like was tied for thir- <laughs> Lashley was tied for 39th. I told you, two under. Horschel from Butch P. That was. He was he was dead from the beginning. By the way, he was started off four over on the first four holes of the tournament. Mm. Tex again gave you Fowler. He missed the cut. Horschel missed the cut. Javi gave you Hoffman, who gave you like a roller coaster ride of that was terrible. Wow, he's actually nope, he's down. So he ended up finishing sixty nine two over. And then Dylon got you a top twenty five at four under with uh, Lucas Glover, the sweaty man himself, Mister Sweaty Pants. Uh. Fill a bathtub full of sweat. Jackie Moon, mm-hmm. Lucas Glover. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. um, all right. A couple of notes from the tournament. McCarthy. I, you probably didn't see this, did you? Mm-mm. McCarthy. McCarthy came storming back. It was a two-man race today. Batia and McCarthy. McCarthy had eight birdies on the back nine. 
to tie the thing and send it to a playoff. And it came down to the 18th green where they both had to make birdie. McCarthy made his first, then body up, buried it, uh, let the body as hit the floor, rock your body, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. He shot a 28. McCarthy shot a 28 on the back nine. Mm. <laughs> and nice. then there was some controversy with Batia, how he celebrated after his putt, dislocated his shoulder. Mm. And on the playoff hole, they had to stop the match so that he could go get his shoulder taped up with kinesio tape. Like that was going to do anything spectacular. So they had to stop the match because he broke his shoulder in half. My God, he broke him in half. He's in the true spirit of WrestleMania. Yep. He was, he was going Batia. to full WrestleMania. Yes. Enactment. That's what he, yeah. Reenactment. Broke his um, shoulder clean in half. It's still real to us, damn it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Badia threw his arm out, celebrating on the putt, uh, dislocated, and went out there and battled the elements. And now he's going to have to try to go play Augusta with a separated shoulder. So oh, yeah. if you're thinking about betting him, don't. Uh, put it on sp- Bath and Batia works is what he's going to be, actually. <laughs> with all the creams he's going to be rubbing on his shoulder, he's probably smelling some candles, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Valero has- Hospitality Suites look just like their gas stations. So, how about that? Uh, Aberg, Aberg, Oberg, his driver head shattered off. And we have to say, Hubs, Lauer, top 25, boys. Top 25, um, both at four under. Some are saying Millie Goat's bump. But the wins are coming. Lauer was actually leading the thing day one. That was awesome. He was at six under. Okay. Uh, I did not have a very good DraftKings week in golf. The heater has come to an end. I think you did. You were the yep. only one of our group that had a heater. Yep. So yep. if you would, while I pull up this screen. Um, oh, there's j Birdie. Oh, bear with the machine guns here. There we go. The golden bear, speaking of the masters. Um, but I'm going to pull my screen up while you go over your lineup uh, so that we can look so, at what yeah. we did. I had uh, I finished 161st in the PGA Tour 3 Max Entry 2K Hybrid. And that lineup had Aberg, Spieth, Connors, Hosgard, Hubbard, and Schmied. Now, mm. Hosgard laid an egg on the last day. And so did Schmeed. guard. But I had a 6-6 six six lineup, scored 427 total, and cash that lineup cashed me in three different three different contests. So it was oh, pretty oh, good. Oh, oh, pretty oh, good. Oh, 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 I can't. Oh my gosh. They could see my they could see my bank. Pretty good. There. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good finish for me with that lineup. Had some other ones that weren't so great. Some other ones. Like this one. Hey, but hey, who didn't? Uh, But that one was excellent and got me most of my money back. That'll get you. That'll get you geared up for the Mm -hmm. the Masters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going all in, dude. I told. I said at the beginning, I'm going all in for the Masters. I'm probably going to have thirty or forty lineups, which is a lot. Forty-eight which is a lot, and I hope it pays off. Otherwise, it'll be the biggest waste of time and money probably in my DraftKings career. <laughs> so really banking that I'm, I'm here for it. I, I'm here for it. I'm really banking that I know what I'm doing. So the good thing is, is the Masters is only $10 for DraftKings. We do have our DraftKings contest up on Twitter. Actually, I'll put that up so that we can get as many people into that one. one dollar folks. That's all you got to pay. Download DraftKings, pay one dollar, come in there and get Molly whopped by us. Live, <laughs> okay. Uh, Bmo says live stream all forty builds. Holy cow, dude! I don't even. <laughs> You'll see that'd be like a... picking random people. Oh my god! You're saying names. Ooh, ah, I think I could talk during just... the whole thing. Ooh, Ooh. ah, Ooh. So it'll just it'll mm. just be facial expressions. Um. 
bear with a machine gun? Do you think Kapka has the same? Doesn't care that DJ uh, Kapka cares about the majors. That's all he cares about. Here's Texas lineup from the Wodemaker: Homa, Norn, Harmon. You can't quit a lefty. Texas always puts a nope. lefty in there. Yep, got to. So that's that's just uh, that's out of principle because um, you are left-handed. Mm -hmm. uh, Ricky Fowler, Bazaden Hoot, and Bro Rogers was terrible. So that was, was good Drew. enough to get you fourth. He was Drew. Which, oh, did he? Is that what happened? Yeah. That's what happened. Which hurt. That one hurt. Mm. Yeah. Butch P, man. We got to rally Butch P. I don't know where he's at. I thought he was going to be here. Uh, by the way, folks, for everybody watching on Rumble and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, we are going to be interviewing Justin Lauer this week for Masters Week and maybe Hubs. I don't know. I don't know if they I don't know if they've qualified or not, but it's gonna be a big masters week, boys and girls. Uh Butch P had three in this contest. Here's mine. Horschel in English, no habla de inglés. Lashley, not a bad lineup, not my best, but we're geared up for the masters. That's where all my focus was. Javi got second in our contest. This is the Wodemaker. He actually had Baddeley pull through. That dude can't quit Baddeley. Javi cannot quit. He put some weird lineups, man. I love his I love his style. And Dylon, a little bit of a heater with Aberg, Connors, uh, Norn, Cole, Laird, and Stevens. So Dylon gets the win of the Wodemaker. Congratulations to him. Yeah, and I've got I've got a I, direct quote here from Dylon. Who? And it's uh, he says, I rip and I rhyme. I rhyme and I rip. This is the way <laughs> that Dylon picks. <laughs> exactly. Send it right in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, here's Bear. Yeah, he feels like he, Brooks Kappa just acts wants to act like he doesn't care about anything. And I don't know if you saw this text, but we went on a hard club hubs trending trending spree, spree is what we were doing. We we're trying to get club hubs trending on Twitter. We had we made a pretty good run at it. So good call, Bear. Um. All right, yeah, you saw mine. I had Auberg, Lashley, Schmeed, Fitzy, Horschel, and English were my worst. That only got me 311. That's the one I put in a bunch of single entries, uh, which that did not pan out. Um, and we're also, we've got the uh, the Listener League results. Here we go. We'll pull those up. So congratulations to Sean Hackbarth from the Ship It, uh, the Ship It realm. Uh, they're popular. Dang it. Pay no attention to the top right corner, folks. Pay none. Zero. And Sean Hackbarth, then it was Dylon, then it was Wes. So here's what Sean Hackbarth did from Ship It. Matsuyama even had Horschel, mm -hmm. but he had Scott, Henley, McNeely, Bud Cauley. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Hackbarth gets the win. So Ship It Nation, popular DFS place. Uh, there you go. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can see the rest. Uh, well, not so much. Tex, we have got to roast Eric from Smoke This Bread. Look at this abomination. Dang it, you can see my account again. I've got to learn. Why won't you learn? Wow. What do you think of this lineup, Tex? Give it your worst. Give it your worst to Eric. I mean, and... Horschel. He kisses. Yeah, he flew. He flew too close to the sun, and his wings melted. Mm, Icarus, Ericus. Those, yeah, yeah, Ericus. Yeah, with both with both of those guys thought spending the big the big bucks was going to get him. Knowing the history of Ann the last mm -hmm. few weeks, I think he was he was hoping like I would with Fowler, and uh, Tom Kim also been struggling the last few mm -hmm. few tournaments. Eric, so, if you I like, I like the cootie, the cootie play. Mm -hmm. That was that was a great dart throw. Yes. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you've got your cootie shot. Yeah. Uh, Harmon, you obviously, I think mm -hmm. guys I'm named Harmon, Eric. I'm a Harmon stand, yep. and he's a lefty. Yep. yep. Short king. Uh, love that pick. He tried to go basically with a BB triple B here. Yep. Uh, which we all know what that means. Uh, that means baby. Baby back uh, bigs, baby back bigs, baller brand. He should have gone for the quadruple B, 
probably. Um, but it's okay. Eric, he said he went with vibes, so he's going to have to get his vibrator. <laughs> Almost said his vibrator check. <laughs> Don't do that. If you have one, though, no, if, whatever, dude. That's whatever. <laughs> Just get it tuned up, dude. Just get it tuned up. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, yes, Will. Tiger is back. He's always back. And oh, yeah. what the hell was he thinking? So. Do you know do you know why he's back, though? He shot a 31. We have it on good. I'm just saying, good... I'm just saying but do you know what, the, what, what that's oh. coming from? He's Text. saving himself for after yes. the tournament. Yes. Abstinence for Augusta. Mm-hmm. That's what he's doing. Print the... Uh, Print the shirts. If he if he does that and he wins, <laughs> if, if I don't want to be anywhere near a three mile radius of Augusta. <laughs> Where is he going to go? Uh, oh my gosh, it's going to be a scary movie too up in there yep. if he wins. Yep, it's going to be it's, it's going to be like the Ghostbusters scene whenever that guy explodes at the end. The whole crowd on eighteen is just going to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh bear yes cricket oh man oh my gosh oh there you go cricket willed it into existence there you go that's like all a right. double entendre there. all right let's, let's cover a winning lineup all right yes okay so that was the uh listener league and now we got to go scumbag stud bags uh real quick i'm just gonna list them off 8500 and above these people scored 30 and below they're trying to get it right they could not. Benny on the sound. This is basically going to be Eric's lineup. Benny on Billy Horschel scumbags, Harry English, Tom Kim scumbags, Fowler, Cole scumbags. And this is where it killed everybody. The 7,400 below for DraftKings, EVR Ryder. Ryder was terrible. Game Rogers Lee. I didn't know Rogers. Uh, Davis Riley, Matt Kuchar, Lee Hodges, Montgomery power scumbags. All those dudes scored 30 and below. There were only six. Of the studs, um, uh, ninety scoring ninety points and above. Rory and Spieth were your only like top dollar dudes that scored ninety points and somehow Spieth scored ninety. And then Batia and McCarthy, obviously Russell Henley was really good. And then Brendan Todd, that's a Dylon special there. Tex Barrow the Machine Gun wants to know is Cody winning the match? Um, kind of. He's he's in downward dog. He's cobraing like Randy Orton right now. Mm-hmm. And Roman Reigns looks like weekend at Bernie's. So there you go. Is he about to put him in the finisher? Oh no. The Rhodes Scholar. Isn't that what he calls it? I don't know. The Rhodes. Why did they not say the Rhodes to the WrestleMania? He's, he's hitting it like four times. <laughs> Why is it not the Rhodes to WrestleMania? Where, where's this dude coming from? Oh yeah, Bimo asked if the uh, who's winning the fight too or the match. So, all right, dude. I mean, uh, let's let's go over this winner real quick, and then we got to get into. Uh... Oh my gosh, I can't wait for Masters, man. I mean, Rhodes it's... Rhodes is winning the match, and now one of one of Roman Reigns' dudes has just put him upside down on top of his back. What? <laughs> Did they get the tables back out yet? Nope, not yet, not yet. Okay. <laughs> no, this guy's just standing there looking at looking at both of them laying on the ground. All right, All right. let me uh let me get to the uh winner of the the lineup, which scored By a six twenty eight six twenty four is a wagon of a lineup because the the dude who won the one that I was in only scored five forty. Yeah, five sixty one. Five sixty one was the uh Five fifty one in that one. Well, there you go. So here's the lineup that won the contest. The I was in. This was this None was a uh, hundred and one. Any of the ones that I played in. So that's a, that's an absolute wagon. I wasn't in the millie, so I don't know who won the millie. Usually, Butch has that information. Uh, but here's the uh, twelve dollar single entry. Here it is: Rory, Spieth, Batia. Uh, Todd, Shank, Bud Cauley. So he's got three dudes there, 5% or below, and three guys who are 20% below. 
The big one was Auburn. He was like 40 something percent owned. We thought we yeah. were being slick. So turns out that was yeah. not the way to go. Nope. So, and the thing is, whenever we're all saying, oh, it's Auburn, we should have known it's not. It's not. So, if everybody, if when you're playing DFS, everybody agrees, you're like, unless he wins, this could be a disaster. And it was. It was easily my worst week in a month, probably. Yep. But he, five, nobody, six, nobody eight. trusted Rory. No. Well, he finished third, I think, didn't he? Yeah. 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 I don't know what he did today. I didn't really see, but he finished third. And then, Todd and Shank being Minus top. six today. Oh, so he was cooking. Mm-hmm. He was cooking. Yeah. But there you go. Bud Colley, the the just and Shank, a couple of dart throws there. Shank's always a good play, though. Um, he used to be, anyways. He was hot last year, I'll tell you that. Uh, anyways, so that was the winner. Uh, congrats to that person. I think they won like three grand. So how about that? Now... Oh man, we got we got to get it together for for next week, dude. We got to get it mm-hmm. together. Absolutely no question. All right, we're gonna hang some banners now, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who've been riding along this long, so everybody, shh. Wait, I hit the wrong. Hold on, I gotta get back up here. I miss J Vi. Here we go. Shh. We ingest again uh, a couple of days of sports, and then we dole out some very um, prestigious awards of hanging the banner. I would just like to go first. Uh, This is going to be absolutely a fan favorite. Everybody knows this is spectacular. I want to salute none other than Brock Purdy. Um, Brock Purdy now has a deal with Pioneer Corn. Um, he has done a commercial and he is showing that he is the everyman, the common man, the backbone of America, which are the farmers. Uh, and he is in support of the farmers, it seems. So if you don't like Brock Purdy and you don't like corn, you're not American. So Therefore, if you're eating corn, that means you 100% fully support Brock Purdy. Uh, You think he's the goat. Um, Goats probably eat corn. Uh, So Brock Purdy, hang the banner for getting a deal and supporting the farmers, the backbone of America. Uh, And you're a top quarterback, even though everybody keeps releasing lists of top quarterbacks and he's not on it. So I just wanted to bring that up. Totally random. Uh, there you go. What do you think? Say that one more time. What do you think about uh, Brock Purdy partnering with Pioneer Corn? I don't care. <laughs> okay, Bevo. <laughs> Probably forms Bill Gates' land for it. Uh, all right, what's your hang the banner? My hang the banner goes to fungus. Mm. Everybody knows this is big news. The cicadas are big coming. News. Yes. Summer. Yes. But with the cicadas this summer comes a special fungus. No. And this fungus causes the cicadas genitals to rot <laughs> off. This is going to be big news. Everybody's going to be talking about it. Huge. <laughs> cicada fungus <laughs> is coming along with the cicadas. So if you see cicadas walking around with this white fuzz fungus on them, just let them be. <laughs> They're getting sterilized by fungus, and it's part of nature. Hey, because Is nature that true? Is it's true. It's true. You're going to be seeing it coming out. All over the place in the next couple of days. They're gonna be talking about cicada next. fungus. You heard it here. Yep. I read it on a CBS News report. Guess what? Fungus is back with the cicadas. Fungus is coming back. They mm-hmm. should call it this cicadas. Yeah. Because they're getting their genitals taken off. Yep. Nature is metal, baby. Oh my gosh. 
I just realized I've been doing this whole show with two hoods on. Eat that, Keenan Allen. Suck it. Hey, double hood up. Hey, I'm I'm ready for the Masters. Um, I had no idea that that was actually a thing either. So you mean to tell me they come out of the ground and they're going to have fungus on their junk? And, and, and they're already they're already infected by the fungus. But wow, that's amazing. They sit in the ground. I mean, can you? I, years. There was an and earthquake. They, they come out and then that's it. You hanging the banner on earthquakes? No, there was an earthquake in New York. And everybody's like, what's going on? It's the eclipse. And I'm like, no, it's not, dude. This is the cicadas. And we told you two months ago to be prepared. Don't be fooled by all this solar eclipse nonsense. The cicadas are coming and there's nothing we can do. And now you're telling me that they're going to have, uh, they're going to have, they're going to, oh, they're going to have swamp ass. Like we're in for a rude awakening. So don't be blinded literally by the sun. Focus on the cicadas. Yeah, focus on cicada fungus. I'm they'll, look, they'll, they'll look, they'll look kind of normal, but it'll be a white fungus growing on them. Dad, blame it. I just aerated my yard. Did I make it easier for the cicadas to get out, or did I kill them? How deep are they? Do you know? I have no. They're like they just live in the ground. I don't know. They're eating on grass roots, so I don't know. I guess so. Hmm. I wonder if anybody ever said before the national championship, like Purdue will win a national title whenever it's four million, four hundred million cicadas coming out of the ground. Mm-hmm. And a solar and a lunar eclipse, solar eclipse. At the same time. Yep. So this actually, this national title, whoever wins this is void. Honestly. Mm-hmm. So um man, that sucks. Having fungus on your junk. You've been waiting 17 years to get out into the daylight. And yep. what do you get for it? To, it's your only window to mate, and now you can't even do it. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. They're getting... Wow. Do you think getting, Tiger Woods... Abdomen, abdomen blocked. You think Tiger Woods had anything to do with that? Maybe. They're huh. following Tiger... What if he has fungus? Oh, man. Can you... Will, will the cicadas... Af- Dude, will the cicadas affect Augusta? I don't think so. I think they're coming out after. It's like May, May or June. No, no, no. It's April. Is it April? Yeah, dude. It's April. I don't but know. I can see at Augusta, if a cicada comes out of the ground, there's going to be snipers everywhere. Snipers mm-hmm. and vacuum cleaners. Every commercial break, you won't see one cicada. Nope. It's and with, with sh- backpacks, reversed uh, leaf blowers just running around sucking sucking up cicadas. Yep. You remember when that tree fell a couple of years ago? Almost killed somebody? Mm-hmm. They had that thing no sawed up. No trace. And whit- had it sawed up, whittled into pimento cheese, uh, wooden uh, statues, and sold it by the end of the tournament. Yep. Sold the sawdust. They did. So get your, yep. get your master's your lightning master's strike sawdust. tree. Yep. Sawdust mixed with cicada junk fungus right and here. pimento cheese. Yes, just sprinkle and, a little bit on your sandwiches. Yep. Uh, and then you'll you'll have a, a unique experience. You can only get at Augusta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, other relevant sports news. Like I said, Rhodes won. Did he win? Yep. Bemo says get your eye protection for the for the eclipse. Uh also Buku says Cody Rhodes. So there you go. Undertaker oh, choke slamming. Uh-oh. Is that the rock? Yep. Wait, who choke slammed him? The Undertaker. Wait, the, the Undertaker's there? Yep. Taker just choke slammed him. Where'd the Undertaker come from? Don't know. Oh my gosh. Look at that this guy's is absurdity. Face. Look at that guy's face. I was watching it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He finished the story, dude. You you've got to watch the Monday Night After Raw. That is a must watch. Yep, got to do it. Um, all right. Uh, Justin Lauer interview will happen either tomorrow or sometime this week. It's a very special treat for us, for everybody who watches and listens to the show, because he's going to be on for Masters Week. 
and give mm-hmm. us a unique perspective. And he's, and he's on a heater. Oh, yeah, and he is. He shot, he played well today, four under. So we will get him on, and we will just do what we do, talk about cicada fungus around their junk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Other news, two pitchers, two pitchers gone from Tommy John again. Bieber, and I can't remember the other's name, but Shane Bieber was for the Guardians, and then there was another one. I can't Jay remember Vastin, who it was. Jay Vastin, the Guardians. Yeah, he's definitely J. Vi's known Guardian fan, has been his whole life. Uh, and I just want to say there's a lot of talk out there about pitching regimens and things of that nature. And I started thinking in my physical therapy brain, okay, how do we fix neat? There you go, Strider, Trey Louder. There you go. Oh, yes, from the Braves. From the Braves. Yep, there you go. I started thinking, how do you fix medial knee instability you don't you don't do you you have to strengthen the muscles and the tendons around texas totally into wrestlemania right now texas way into (laughs) he's tuned me out anyways i would like to get my hands on some of these pitchers and get them back in the gym where they're, li- they're lifting actual weights and get away from these stupid band exercises everybody said. Nobody wants to say it, dude. Nobody wants to come out and, and say to these professional athletes who keep blowing out Achilles, blowing out ACLs, hey, when your ligaments and your tendons fail, it's because your muscles suck. Mm. That's what happens when you don't lift weights and you don't eat and you do all these fancy band exercises and balance around on BOSU balls and get the water jugs out and have guys film you while you got your foot up on a moving forklift doing medicine ball twists. Get in there, lift some real weights, strengthen up your muscles so that your joints are supported. I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. Everybody, what's happening in baseball? It's the good. No, nobody wants to work out anymore. Nobody, nobody wants to. <laughs> That's right, BMO. Bo, Bo Jackson's muscles must have sucked. Yeah, exactly. Anyways. Shout out also to the St. Louis Battle Hawks, Dex. I watched some of that game last night. Yeah. 40,000 people in the stands. That place was right. That's awesome. That's awesome. The Battle Hawks were awesome. D.C., uh, I don't know. I think D.C. Defenders won my team. I'm a D.C. Defender. Um, (laughs) I'm a D.C. Defender guy. The Beer Snake is back. So shout out us. That's why I have my red on. Go D.C. Defenders. And I kind of just want to look. Can we just peek at the hockey playoffs standings? Yeah, I got them. Yeah, I got them. So shout out St. Louis Battle Hawks for owning the UFL. All right, here we go. Let's look at let's look at the uh, <laughs> first text. Super James has not been here in two weeks, and he came in during the cicada fungus uh, monologue. So. Yeah, PT. Well, I don't know. I could. You don't really want to mobilize or junk, but all right. Eastern. Uh, <laughs> that's back to the Eric vibrate the vibrator. Yeah, gotta get that checked, calibrated. Here for it. Eastern Conference, dude. Right now, Bruins look to have it on lock. They 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 beat the Panthers yesterday. I think Lightning, Maple Leafs. Looks like Red Wings right now. Uh, Sabres, I don't know. Are they fully dead yet? Are the Sabres fully dead? Looks like they're dead. They're dead. They're already out. Eliminated. And nothing nothing is set well, in the Metro. Not mathematically, but they're eliminated. They got 78 games played, 79 points. They're four points back of the Flyers. And five, mm. five points back of the Red Wings. Mm. Sabres yet again get to the cusp of the playoffs every year and never do enough to get over the hump. Then we move to the Metro Rangers right there. Tex in your face, trying not to win the president's cup for the love of everything that is holy. Do not let them win the president's cup. They're going to No, I know they're going to win the Metro four games left for them, but I know they're going to win the Metro. Look at that goals against dude. Golly, Bobrovsky's having a year, buddy. They haven't even allowed 200 goals yet, but 
Islanders Penguins down there. So what's it shaking up as right now? We got um, six complete spots f- filled in. And then we've got right now the Red Wings and the Islanders, correct? They will mm-hmm. fill in the other two. Mm-hmm. And the Penguins chasing them down, dude. Are you nervous? The, the Penguins have no, I'm not because well Text known Penguins fan. I'm a known Rangers fan. Hang on, I'm pulling up the last the last few games here. Yeah, give us give us the last five games of the. I know the CEO of Stats has been on this for like a month. He's like, we're in playoff mode. CEO of Stats is a known Penguins fan as well. BMO Penguins fan. The last games are Toronto, Detroit, mm. Boston, mm. Nashville. <laughs> oh. it, it's I told you it's a it's a brutal last stretch. It's a brutal oh. last stretch. But they beat Tampa Bay, who is who is Big playing win. very well. They Big beat win. Washington, who, who is playing very well. Yep. They got to beat Toronto, Detroit, playing Toronto at Toronto, Detroit yep. at home, Boston at home, Nashville at home, and then last game of the year at the Islanders, which will mm. probably be for all the marbles. Probably. They have got a murderer's row, dude. Those are all playoff yeah. teams. All of them. Holy all moly. Them wow. And I don't think any of them, all those teams have been in the last several years knocked out by the Penguins. Huh. Let's see here. Who does who does the Islanders play? That's that's really who we got. I'm play. telling you right now, and then I'll do the West while you're the I yeah. this okay, is the Islanders, the Islanders play the Rangers twice. Ooh. And the Penguins Montreal. fans are biggest Rangers fans right now on the planet. Are you yeah, not? I need, we need we need the Rangers to beat the Islanders every time they play them. Yeah. Mm. Badly. Subway series. Gotta win mm. them both. Tex, you want to wear one of my Rangers jerseys? Nope. Go down. I will wear a Emo. USA. I will wear a USA jersey, but not a Rangers jersey. Go down, get my hat from our or parents' Texas house. Rangers, the real Rangers, the real Rangers, a Texas Rangers shirt. Red, white, there's Bemo, Crosby, dude. If there's any, this is this is why the NHL is phenomenal, dude. The best player, one of the best players in the league, behind Shesterkin and behind Alexi Lafreniere right now, Sidney Crosby. Um has a chance to do the unthinkable and literally put the team on his back and the city of Pittsburgh. Been put, he's been putting the team on his back. I mean, he's got 40 goals. Dude. Yeah. At 36 saw, years old or something like that. He's, he's playing saw, out of his mind. I saw a, uh, I saw a stat of something crazy. It was like no other player has ever had. I don't think Lemuse had 40 goals past 36. I don't know if Gretzky did. I don't know. Like it was something stupid where Crosby yeah. has like three. He's go- you he's, know. he's so good. Like no, I think I think we've just gotten numb to how good he is. But he's dude. So, he had like, a tip. He's so good. He's so good. He had a tip in the other day that barely missed, where he tipped it from like the the left dot. Yep. And it missed the top left corner of the goal by like an inch. I was like, that's <clears throat> that's stupid. He's yep. he is. I hate his guts. I absolutely hate his guts. But I do I like watching why. him play. I don't know why. Because but... <laughs> he ruined hockey for like five years, and you can't tell me otherwise. They what couldn't hit anybody hockey? because because he got that concussion early on, and they pretty much said everybody has to stop hitting everyone. And it turned into the NFL current day for like three years in hockey. And now the Rangers have brought real hockey back from the depths with Matt Rempe. So... There's the West, Stars chasing the Rangers, the Preds. I think the Preds are close to clinching. Uh, the Kings, but they have not. I can't believe the, the Blues are wild. The Canucks coming out of nowhere, really. Yeah, they need to get their goalie this back. Year. Thatcher Demko. So, and then I think. I thought the, I thought the Penguins were going to make a run at him. Who, Demko? Yep, I thought the yeah. Penguins were going to try. So. That would that Anyways. would change everything. They had to go They've been you've been saying that for like four years, dude. It, because it's the truth. It is, but I think the West is pretty much. There's not really other than the division leads. There's not really too much. The Blues, I think, might be. Yeah, able what was to it two of, years ago? They had the Louis. Uh, what's his name? Louis uh, Deming. Deming. Yeah, they yeah. had him out there playing, and then he just like, oh my gosh, he. That's when they were up three yeah, nothing had, on the yeah, Rangers. He had, he, he had a block. 
a blocker save that went straight up in the air and landed behind him and then slid into the net. And I'm like, what? what is going on here? He played so playing. good for a couple games. Ooh, look at this. Super James. Decent ticket on Bruins Preds final. Dude, thank goodness there's 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 going to be playoff hockey back in Nashville. We need that. We absolutely hope, need I hope, hope they sledgehammer the cars and everything. Sledgehammer the cars, load up the catfish, noodling, yep. like, let's go. Mm -hmm. Um, So, really, the watch is on the President's Trophy, the West Divisions, and that those last two spots for the Eastern Conference. Yep. Because it looks like, other than that, the West is kind of locked up. Preds, Blues still fighting. Kings, Knights fighting. But Kraken dead. Flames dead. Coyotes dead. Wild, I guess, are still alive somehow, but they're stinking. So, anyways, hockey's... It, I love hockey. Love it. All right. Um, anything else, dude? No. Okay. Uh, Inner squad dad Kings Jamboree results. I am in the lead with nine total wins for golf and NASCAR season. j has eight total wins. Dylon is on a tear right now. He's at four. Tex has two wins. Butch P, I don't know where he was tonight. Maybe he didn't want to show his face. Uh, he has zero wins in our in our inner squad dad Kings Jamboree. Uh, he's reeling after getting beat by Javi in football. I feel like he's going to do a late turn on. That's a Butch P move, I think. Um, we've got over 50 people watching, almost 60 now um, mm -hmm. during the live stream. And while you're here, hit a thumbs up for us if you're on Rumble or YouTube or wherever or on Twitter. We really appreciate everybody tuning in. We've got some more uh, surprises this week. Again, the Justin Lauer interview, who is a, we are part of the, or actually we're the founders of hashtag Lauer Rangers. Mm -hmm. uh, as there are five of us, as we follow along with him to get uh, his first win. Um, but he will be on the show either tomorrow, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Check our Twitter and Instagram for announcements. We're going to have Justin Lauer, man of the people of the PGA, on the show. So please look look out for those announcements, uh, which is a really treat for us for one of the biggest weeks in golf is to have a pro golfer on. And he seems like a really cool dude. So this should be a lot of fun. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Uh <clears throat> at the Millie Goats, follow us on Rumble. At the Millie Goats, follow us on Twitter. At Millie Goats on Instagram. At the Millie Goats website and blog, themillygoats.godaddysites.com. And subscribe to the show, rate the show, review the show, especially on podcasts. Anywhere you find your podcast, hit a five star for us and leave a review telling us, like, wow, you really enjoyed that uh, that cicada segment fungus. on cicada fungus. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> experts. Glad to see cicada fungus yes. experts here. Um, anything else, Tex? Do you have anything else you want to tell everybody who's watching right now? Our biggest live audience we've ever had, yeah. I think. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, really appreciate everybody tuning in. Super James, Will from Game On, go check them out. You know, wait, yucking it up with us for an hour or so. Enjoy your Sunday night. Happy National No Chores Day. And let's, let's get go ready Pens. For let's go Pens. Let's go Rangers. Check go out Cowboys. the podcast tomorrow if you missed the show for those tuning in late. We'll Next see you Rangers tomorrow night. Real Rangers. <laughs> Have a good one, Patriot. Thanks for tuning in, man. Really appreciate it, guys.